What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. So if you guys recall a couple videos back, I did the Blendor actuator gear on the Jeep here because the passenger side was not getting any heat and the back wasn't either. And it was because the passenger side uh, Blendor gear was broken. So we replaced that and today we're here because, yep. Everyone was telling me how easy the passenger side was and how difficult the driver side was. And we were driving like two, three days ago. Now the driver side is getting heat but the passenger or the back isn't again. I took a look under there and while I was like fiddling with everything down there, a piece of the gear broke, or not broke, it was already broken. A piece of the gear fell onto the floor mat and I was like, yep, I knew it. So today we are actually gonna be doing the driver side actuator gear and hopefully, hopefully they both hold up and I don't have to do this again because, well, I don't know how hard this side is, but like I said, I've heard it's like super hard. The other side was cake. Like if I have to do it again, I can probably get it done like 15 minutes next time. So I'm not even worried about that. But this side, let's just dive right in and see how hard it is. So as you can see, I've already gone through here. I popped this cover off. It literally just pops out. You pop it out and you take it out. I think this weather stripping has to come off like this. You literally just pull it off as well. And then, and then this part comes out and then you can just put it back on for the time being, or you can just leave it off because you have to pop the new one or you have to put it back on anyways. So I took this off. I also took this little panel that goes all the way under here. I took this off as well. It just has these two plastic clips, one here, one there. So you just pull them down with a trim tool and disconnect this connector for this little LED light here. And this comes out. And as you can see, I've taken the lower part of the ducting out because I have this piece right here ready to just pop out. It's pretty easy. So to pop this out, what I did was I took my steering wheel out all the way. So you do that. You wanna pop this trim around here off. It's, it goes around the whole thing. So just stick your hand somewhere and just pull out on it. And then it just pops out. There we go. So you pop this out. The reason why you pop this out is because there's a screw that goes right in here that you have to remove. It's a seven millimeter, so you remove that one. And then on the bottom, you have another three. One that goes here, one that goes here, and another one right here. So you pop those out, and I think some models don't bring the airbag down here, so you do that, and then you basically pop it out. I still have to take the cable off of the hood latch, but like I said, some models don't bring the airbag, so if yours does bring the airbag, there's two 10 millimeter nuts that you have to remove. Let me see if I can show them to you guys. So if you can see right here, this little bolt that's down here, right here, there's a 10 that goes there and then there's one on the other side as well. Right, let's see, right there. So you remove those tens and then the whole thing can come out. So I just took the cable off right now. You wanna take it off of this end first. And this end is, basically it goes in this little slot right here. So you have to basically pull the cable out all the way and pull it out through the front. And then these ends right here, you squeeze them with something and then it pops right out from right in here. It pops right out from right in there and then Basically, to do, when you did that, the hood opened. So before anything else, make sure you come over here. And just make sure, just make sure your hood is closed. So now that I got all of that, I can start popping the whole kick panel off. I have to probably unplug all of that so I can move it out of the way, and then we'll have access to everything. All right, so now with that out of the way, this cable has this clip that goes into the upper part of the ducting right here. So pull that off with the trim tool and then you can see that gold screw right there is the bottom one. And then there's that one over the connector. That one's the top one. That one's gonna be hard to get to. This bottom one, 
not so much with this stubby T20 that I have and this thin snap-on ratchet. I can get in there and take the bottom one out, but the top one I can't get to. So I have this old, what is this? Tactics uh, ratcheting wrench. And basically I have the bit for it to hold actual bits. So my plan is to grind it down the T20 bit that I have as much as I can so that it can go in as far as possible so i can keep going a little more right there and basically try to get that in there if not i have another idea which i have to find out if this isn't going to work asap because that other idea i have to order it from amazon and i can get it here today if i order it soon enough so i'm going to go ahead and grind this down real quick see if it'll work if it doesn't we'll get the other thing on order and we might have to pull a late night working on this i'm not sure so let's go ahead and get to it because it's crunch time <laughs> All right, so I got it to go in pretty deep there. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. If it's still too long, I'm gonna keep going at it and try to get it even shorter than this, but let's go ahead and try it out real quick. All right guys, so I finally got it out and I know it's dark. So here is the broken piece. It doesn't have anything to it really. The new one, you see it has all these teeth. So what you wanna do is line up this big center one with the one on the air box. One thing you guys didn't see is I did run to the store to buy a quarter inch wrench. The way I was able to take it out was I put a normal size T20 Torx bit. This one that I grinded down, I grinded down way too small. So this is going in the trash. Um, but yeah, I used the normal size one. It just fitted on there. And then I, I turned it with this wrench and I was able to do it so that whole like grinding down you don't really have to i do advise you to take these two off this one has two seven millimeters up or three actually up here and then this one is held by two tens i believe and it goes from this one on that side to this on this side so take that off and then it'll give you a lot more room and right now i'm gonna work on getting it back in so to make my job and life a lot easier i went to lowe's and i got these number eight by half inch long screws um, they go in perfectly i also picked up a quarter inch ratcheting wrench so basically i'll just hold it with my thumb to give it some force and then i'll just have to spin it and crank away at it and it should go in All right, so it's all on there now. I don't know if you guys can see, but basically you don't see gold screws now. You see silver screws because I use those number eight screws and I use the quarter inch ratchet to get them on. These are the old screws right here. I don't need these anymore. This is gonna make it a lot easier in case it does break again, which it's a plastic part. So there's a good chance. So if it does break, it'll be a lot easier to do it again next time. So I highly suggest you guys changing them out. So let's go ahead and test it out real quick before putting anything back. Let's see.
Oh yeah, they both feel pretty warm. Um, the car is cold, like completely cold, so I don't expect it to be super hot, but they both feel the same. They both feel like around 60, 70 degrees, so we're good. So I did have to use a bit wrench, I think it's called. I ordered one on Amazon. I'll post the link down below. The one I used, I ended up getting it from AutoZone because I was running out of time. I didn't want to do it in the dark. You can see we barely beat the daylight. So I ran over there, got what I needed, came back, got it on. But like I said, Amazon sells the same exact kit, which I will be getting. I don't know if I'll return that one or return the AutoZone one. The Amazon one is like $9, I believe. So I think I will keep that one. But yeah, so get yourself one of those because it's a lifesaver this job was not fun i don't know if you guys can tell by my attitude or tone right now but it was not fun it's hard but it's doable so if you guys have to do it just know that it's possible what i will say is plan for the future because these gears are plastic and they will break again especially if you live in an area where it gets cold like here the plastic gets brittle it's gonna snap make sure you guys switch out those bolts because you do not want to be dealing with these the next go around i know for me next time it is going to be easier when i have to do it again because i just have to put a wrench on there and take them off so that's going to conclude this video guys if you liked it make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas